Greetings. I popped into Aldi this weekend, and as you do, I ended up in their uh, in their special offers aisle. Yes, that aisle. And what I came back with was one of these, a digital breathalyzer for the princely sum of 20 quid. So I thought we'd take a look inside the box and put it through its paces before taking it apart, because that's what I do on my channel. So in the box we have an instruction manual, which briefly, it warns you, uh, don't take a breath test less than 10 minutes after you're last drunk, uh, because you can risk blowing high levels of alcohol directly into the machine and damaging it. And also it warns that your blood level, blood alcohol level can arise for up to 90 minutes after drinking. So it warns about that. And then various other bump, all in, in English, basically telling you about putting new batteries in, how to perform a breath test, which is put a tube in the side and turn the unit on, displays weight, and then says blow. At that point you blow into it until it stops, and then it's gonna make a double beep. And it's gonna display the result. So let's have a go. Anyway, here's the unit in its box. There's room for three AAA batteries, but it doesn't come with it. But hey, you only pay 20 quid for it. It's got six straws, which you're not supposed to reuse because apparently it's unhygienic. Well, who cares? Um, let me just get one of these straws out. And obviously the unit itself. Act now to claim your free warranty upgrade. Well, I'm going to take this thing apart, so I'm not going to need the free warranty upgrade. I'm going to pop the straw in the side now anyway. Like that. Peel that off, okay, so we can see it looks like there's just the one button on it and room for three AAA batteries, which I also bought from Aldi's. I uh, can't remember how much these were, they weren't a lot, but three pound odd, I think. The battery's in, and that just beeped at me. And it's cleaning itself out by the looks of it, or recalibrating of some sort. So I shall leave that to do that. And we'll come back in a few seconds. Now while it's counting down, I'll just read some of the bits in the manual, some of the key bits. It'll after 300 tests, it'll start warning that it wants recalibration, which is a chargeable service, but I don't care. Um, you can buy packs of 20 of these for 4.99 each, uh, 4.99 for a pack of 20. So no wonder they say not to uh, not to reuse them. Uh, what else is there? Oh, also the drink drive limits. What it'll, how it will display is as percentage blood alcohol limit rather than um, milligrams or micrograms so you can see that here and it's got this handy list showing the legal limits for these different countries as of um, well as of October 2017 uh, the Northern Irish Parliament debating reducing theirs to 0.5 so it can vary but England, Wales, Nile of Man 0.8% blood alcohol content and don't drive if you're above 0.6. Um, I think it was fifth gear did a test of one of the AlcoSense ones and it came in as just as accurate as the police one. So let's just see what it means now when it's saying wait. Obviously it's finished doing its thing. Right, it's ready to blow. I haven't drunk anything yet. There. Right, and it's saying low. Because I haven't drunk. Obviously I need to test this now with some alcohol. So I have a single bottle of Brothers Rhubarb and Custard. Again, from Aldi. And...
eight bottles of Brothers Toffee Apple Cider. Uh, how do I turn this off? Maybe it'll press and hold? Yeah. I love units. You can guess how to, how to use. So, each of these bottles is 1.1 UK units. So, we'll see what happens when I polish off a few of them. Right, well that's after the first one. So I'm just going to do a quick check. Well, it's more than 10 minutes after the first one. I don't recommend the rhubarb and custard ones, by the way, but uh, the toffee apple ones are um, rather nice. Oh, look at that, 0.5. After that one bottle, it's telling me that I'm actually at the limit for Scotland, a uh, little over half limit for England. Uh, I'm okay to drive in England, I'd get banned in Scotland or the Republic of Ireland. Um, if I was a professional driver, I'd be in line for a ban, and Channel Islands again. 0.5. So I'm going to have my dinner and carry on drinking these and we'll come back later. Well, I'm three bottles in now and I'm definitely feeling the effects of it because I don't drink an awful lot. So uh, let's see what we get. Right, I'm deliberately stopping there. No, right, it didn't like that. It's just displaying flow there because I've just did it early. So, how's it going to manage with that now? Do I have to blow again? Nope. You've got to let it clear again. And each of these little warm-ups does seem to take a minute or so. Ah, right, it says in the manual here, what it's actually doing is preheating the sensor. And it takes between 30 and 90 seconds. Apparently, you're supposed to use, when blowing, use a pressure similar to a, apparently, when blowing, you use pressure similar to a sigh. Let's have a go. That's interesting, it's gone back down to 0.2. So, uh, I was expecting it to be higher than that because I'm feeling the effect of the alcohol more than I was earlier. But uh, well, 0.2 it reckons. So. Anyway, that's the testing over and done with. Let's take a look inside this thing. See how easy it is to crack open and what makes it tick. Oh, there we go, there's a, screw, there's a screw there. In fact, there's probably two screw holes. Let's get this open. Of course that low reading may be because I've taken two breath tests in relatively quick succession. It does say you should uh, leave, how long did it tell you? Five minutes it says? Uh, yeah, leaving it it says in the manual, leave a minute, minimum of five minutes between tests. Anyway, that's those two screws out. Which looks like it now... Ah, oh, there we go. And this is what's inside. And it's a modular unit. This is the the actual breath sensor itself and here's the control board. Let's have a closer look at both of these. On one side of the board there's not a lot to see. There's the display which I'm not sure whether it's an LCD or it could be OLED, I'm not sure. I might do a little bit of experiment later on to find out which. Um, on the other side this isn't a coil as such, it's actually the buzzer. 
And this is an ABOV 96F6432. This is the SQB variant. And it's uh, a CMOS 8-bit microcontroller with 32K of flash. That's 32 kilobytes of flash, I should say. So that's the, the one part of it. And the rest then, we have the sensor. Now this normally sits up in here. And we've got what appears to be a uh, piezo, uh, piezoelectric microphone here, which I assume is just used to detect the airflow and tell it, right, okay, you can start reading the sensor now. On the other side is a chip, which is so it's 24CO2, little serial E prom. And then we've got the, the sensor at the heart of it then. I can't find, there's no part number on this, the ones I can find online tend to be six pin devices and this is a four pin device which has got five volts, three and a half volts. There's the zero ADC connection there which I think is the uh, the output and then we've got ground. So I assume one of these is for the heater and one is for actually powering the, the rest of the sensor and there's not much to see in here so I've managed to pry the lid off I don't think the camera will zoom in. Oh, yes, it will. The camera will zoom in a little further, but then doesn't want to focus. So, there we go. Can I bring it in closer? Without... No, that's about as much as I'm going to get. So you can see these wires just go into this little... I assume is a catalyst. One pair of wires will be for the heater, and then you've got the sensing. I don't know an awful lot about this thing, so uh, I'm not going to profess to. I'm not going to tell you, oh, this is what it does, this is what it doesn't do, because I haven't got a clue. But that is the sensor. That's the heart of it all. And you can actually buy, albeit the six-pin uh, versions of these alcohol sensors, and you can buy them as little Arduino kits, so you can make your own breath test device. But, I mean, for 20 quid, you can't go wrong with this. Although, it may be going wrong now. Let me pop that lid back on. There we go, that's pushed back together. And that just pops in like that. And something else I noticed just now, which I'll find out in a sec, as long as it's working, on the board, there's a switch. And that's the setting it was on. I don't know what the others are. Now, whether that's to cater for slightly different um, versions of the of the sensor, I don't know. We'll see what the difference is when I actually um, when I try cha um, try changing it. Let me just get it back together, and that means get my soldering iron out because the the battery wire came off. Now, I just realised two things here. One that switch can actually be accessed just through the battery cover. You haven't got to take it apart to do that. And the other is that I've just realized why the e, um, the e prom was mounted along with the sensor. It's because it's got that counter on it above which it'll say you need to calibrate me. So to recal, you can basically take that sensor off and replace it with a new a new sensor unit. Now I've just flipped that switch from 2.3 where it was before to 2.1. So we shall let it count down. Okay. It seems to. I don't know what that switch has done. It's has it affected the accuracy? I don't know. It's certainly not changed anything on the display. It's still showing the percent blood alcohol content. So I'm going to pop a battery out, flip it to 2.0, and try again. And this is a final reading. I did do a, a test just now. It actually blew low, and then. I swigged from this and did another one and instantly it's come up to 2.0. Unfortunately, I forgot to press record, so we haven't got that in the can. So that's where that one came from. 
interesting little device and I thought it was interesting to see what was in there which is not a lot but um, 20 you know well 35 quid you can't go wrong really 20 quid you definitely can't go wrong um, hope you found that interesting thanks for watching